Here's Victoria and Mark with an AMI This Week Shortcut. On this show, we explore a number of accessible sports and activities available in communities throughout this country. These are great options and they fill an important void in accessible activities for people with disabilities, but there is a lot more that can be done. The Inclusive Sport and Recreation Summit is a two-day conference that explores the current state of inclusion in sport and what can be done to improve access to those activities. Industry professionals, athletes, and members of the disability community are on hand as Alex Smythe heads to Edmonton to check out the summit. Sport is about working together towards a common goal. However, for people with disabilities, sports is often inaccessible. That's where the Inclusive Sport and Recreation Summit comes in. I'm at the University of Alberta, where I meet with Danielle Pierce, co-event organizer, who tells me how the summit came together. Really, the vast majority of disabled folks in Canada can't access sport. It's not really designed for them. The capacity to engage in recreational activities uh, in your hometown to, to do things with other folks who may identify with a similar disability or with folks who are just happen to be your neighbor or cousin, um, that having that choice of activities in your community is something that most disabled people don't have and that I think we can make a significant impact on that lack of opportunity. People I know in the academic world, in the sport admin role, and, and also like former and current athletes are saying, I think we kind of need to get together and think about how to do this better and how to do this more collaboratively. We really asked the community what they wanted to know. Um, so rather than a bunch of academics talking at community, which is sometimes I think how it works, uh, we really got the community's sort of idea about what was most important to them. Tim Conable, co-event organizer for the Inclusive Sport and Recreation Summit, wanted to find out what issues are important to the community. We sent out a number of surveys and had a number of conversations with, with the community in, in Alberta. And we reached, you know, our survey reached well over 100 people um, who chimed in on and rated certain topics and also had the opportunity to write in other topics they wanted to hear about as well. There are gaps in, in anything that we will approach and we want this to be an agent of change. Uh, we want to change the system. And then I think if we're going to look to the future, we have to look at the past. And so I think Bob Stedder, as the founding president of the International Paralympic Committee, is a good person to ask about where he sort of sees that we've come and I guess where he sees our future. There are some terrific uh, leaders uh, uh, in this province, in this country and in this world that I'm sure can uh, uh, take us to where we want to be and where we want to go. And, uh, and then we have Ozzy Zawicki and uh, Brandy Heather talking about a, a new awareness tool that they've actually created, a new awareness database to help connect more individuals experiencing disability to programs that are offered here in Alberta. I can find out who I can contact about getting transportation needs to get to a sport. So it's not just about the sport, it's about every facet of accessibility to activity. The whole thing is ASL interpreted, all the slides are visually described, uh, everything's wheelchair accessible, so in terms of like the envelope of the conference, we've really tried to put inclusion at the forefront. It just brings together people who play, coach, um, administer, research, fund, a whole host of people that come together to share knowledge about inclusive sport and recreation. But I do hope that there might be like sparks where two or three different organizations are like, oh yeah, we're all really interested in this thing, um, and they may decide to collaborate more. And then maybe other three or four organizations might, or two or three athletes might get together and do this, or maybe some athletes' organizations and academics might come together. So I'm hoping it'll sort of spark a handful of smaller collaborations that may lead into sort of larger systemic change. What a great event. A summit like this can really enhance the para landscape and bring about positive change in sport. Agreed. I also appreciate that they are trying to solve the problem of access to sport. And with a current database of services available, that makes a huge difference. Not to mention the community was involved in the planning from the beginning. That's great to hear. While there aren't current plans to host the summit next year, Tim says that they have established a student legacy group to continue the progress made at the conference. 